Hey, it's Abram. I uh, was talking with a friend earlier this week, and uh, they asked me about traveling, and uh, they were so jealous about me living in Japan and taking awesome pictures and videos and looking so happy. Uh, by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'll put it up here. Okay, uh, and uh, they were kind of jealous. I told them to come out, and they're like, how? I don't know the first thing about traveling. I don't know the first thing about uh, going internationally. Uh, so I decided I wanted to make a video about it, and uh, maybe this can help some other people too. Um, so let's get into it. Step one. Step one is the most important step of them all. You first must get a passport. It's your key to unlocking the traveling, the travels throughout the world, going to new countries, new places, learning about new cultures, new languages, and trying amazing new food. Um, I will leave a link down below of where to go to get one, um, and just follow the steps. It's super easy. It takes a few weeks for the passport to come in. Um, if you're not in any hurry, don't pay the rush fee, it's okay. They usually, for me, they've always come in in about two weeks, even though they say four to eight. Step two, find a country with stairs. They're everywhere. I'm just kidding, that's not actually a step. Step two, what I would do is I'd pick a location. Now, this can become a little tricky, as depends on what you want to travel for. Do you want to travel because your favorite dish might be a Vietnamese bowl of pho? or it might be a Chinese duck, or it might be something else. Whatever it is, are you traveling for food experiences? Are you traveling for personal reasons? Has there always been a place deep down inside that you've wanted to visit or go to? Uh, you can do that as well. Or is there family abroad that you've never want, that you've never met? You've only seen them on the internet or seen pictures or talked to them on the phone and you really want to meet them. Um, you can pick your locations based on these things. A uh, little tip when picking your location, make sure that you dress appropriately for those locations. For instance, you don't want to go to Russia in the wintertime with board shorts and a tank top and flip-flops. That would not be a good idea. All right, that brings us into step three. Pick a date. Uh, picking the date depends, again, totally upon how you want to travel. Do you want to be surrounded by a lot of other tourists doing the same thing? Um, and maybe paying a little bit higher prices because it's the tour season? Or would you rather pay a little bit less and go in the off season? Uh, you can do that as well. Uh, and it would be less people, it's usually a little bit cheaper. Maybe not everything is open, but you can still have great experiences, great fun, and try delicious foods as well. Uh, step four. Step four is to book your travel. Um, I use a few different flight aggregators and travel booking sites. Um, maybe I'll leave a couple links down below to get you started. Uh, Google Flights is a really good place to start. Um, it helps you and it can show you how to be flexible with your flights. Um, Skyscanner.net is another one that I use to find my tickets and then I'll book them on a different site. Um, by the way, I'm not sponsored by anybody. This is just me making a video to help you get out and travel. Uh, Step five, after booking your flight and setting the date and going, um, pack, pack your clothes. Now you don't want to pack too much uh, and show up for a five day trip with 15 suitcases, five handbags and 20 million outfits, um, pack accordingly. Uh, also pack to the climate of where you're going. Um, if you're going someplace cold, make sure you bring a jacket, uh, a couple layers, a scarf, hat, gloves. If you're going someplace warm, you're not going to want that. Maybe, at most, take a hoodie with you. Uh, do your own research. Find out when the, what the weather's going to be like at the time of the year that you're going. Uh, you don't want to go someplace and uh, be overdressed or underdressed. Um, the other thing is, don't take too much. Um, I'm actually going to be traveling in the next few days, so maybe I'll make a video of what I'm taking uh, for my quick little trip. Um, and just kind of go. Uh, step six, show up early. You always need to show up early for any type of international travel, whether it be cruise, whether it be bus, whether it be airplane. Um, 
think the benchmark is like two hours. I usually like to show up a little bit earlier. Uh, I like to walk around the airports and see what they have. Sometimes they have things that you would never see unless you were taking a flight. Art, um, um, they have different lounges that you can go see or just different things to help you uh, pass the time while sitting in the airport. Because sometimes it's inevitable for you to sit in the airport for more like hours because of a delayed flight or canceled flights. Um, these are some of my recommendations. Uh, the other one, enjoy. Enjoy your travels. Take a camera with you, take pictures, write a diary uh, to kind of go through your experiences. This traveling internationally might be the biggest thing that you do uh, or it might be the most uh, influential thing that you do uh, for, for yourself. So you want to definitely document that experience um, and see what it's like. If you don't like it, hey, you tried it, you didn't like it. But nine times out of 10, you'll enjoy it and get bit by the travel bug. That travel bug can become quite expensive, uh, but at the same time, very rewarding. You get to go new places, you get to try new languages, and just enjoy yourself, enjoy your life. I highly recommend uh, trying it and doing it um, and just getting out. Oh, back to location. Another thing that you can do is call me and come hang out with me. I'll be more than happy to show you around and give you a tour of my place and show you how I'm living in wherever I'm at. Currently, I am in Japan, but who knows, the future is very vast and uh, very unpredictable. So I may end up someplace else uh, sometime soon. But uh, as far as friends, family, and even strangers, you're more than welcome to contact me and say, hey, I want to come and visit. Uh, I'll be, and I'll let you know, I'll keep you up to date on where I am and uh, how you can get in contact with me. for you I hope that it sparked something inside of you to where you want to get out travel try new things and go new places well I hope to see you soon and I keep traveling stay awesome stay healthy and see you soon <laughs>